Hi, I'm Sean Yeo, and welcome back to Forward Together. This is a podcast where I'm going to read the Green Party of Canada's 2019 platform. That's right, the whole thing. I hope that this is a great way for you to learn about our platform. I know that reading a long document isn't for everyone, and that finding the time for a long read is not always as easy as we'd hope. We also want to be inclusive in how we share this material, as well as making our platform accessible to as many Canadians as possible. With this podcast, you basically have an audiobook of the Green Party platform, so you can learn what the Green Party is all about while you're on your way to work, or out for a run, or whatever you love to do while you listen to podcasts. Now, to get the platform yourself, just go to greenparty.ca slash platform. And to find out who your local Green Party candidate is, you can go to greenparty.ca slash candidates. Just put in your postal code and it'll show you who your candidate is. However you're listening, welcome. And we'd love to hear from you. So you can email us at platformpodcast2019 at gmail.com. If you have any platform questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. We will read everything that you send us and do our best to reply as well. We're hoping to be able to share some of the questions and feedback as well. So if you'd prefer we don't share your comments, please mention that in your message. Okay, let's get started with episode two. In this episode, we're going to cover the UN Sustainable Development Goals and reconciliation with Indigenous people. UN Sustainable Development Goals The Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, adopted by the UN member states, including Canada, is a, quote, shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet now and into the future, end quote. Every SDG is reflected in the Green Party platform. These symbols appear next to policies which will advance these goals. This next page is a list of 17 of these SDGs, each uh, with a different colored box and a different icon. Uh, I will go through and uh, read each of these with their number, and then throughout uh, the podcast, uh, at the beginning of each section, I'll reference uh, the SDGs uh, which are labeled there. So the SDGs uh, are Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Goal 1. No Poverty. Goal 2. Zero Hunger. Goal 3. Good Health and Well-Being. Goal 4. Quality Education. Goal 5. Gender Equality. Goal 6. Clean Water and Sanitation. Goal 7. Affordable and Clean Energy. Goal 8. Decent Work and Economic Growth. Goal 9. Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure. Goal 10. Reduced Inequalities. Goal 11. Sustainable Cities and Communities. Goal 12. Responsible Consumption and Production. Goal 13. Climate Action. Goal 14. Life Below Water. Goal 15. Life on Land. Goal 16. Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions. And Goal 17. Partnerships for the Goals. And that's all of the Sustainable Development Goals. So we'll move on to the next section now, Reconciliation with Indigenous Peoples. And this section is labeled with the following Sustainable Development Goals. No poverty, good health and well-being, quality education, clean water and sanitation, reduced inequalities, and responsible consumption and production. Canada has a profound legal obligation to reconcile and provide restitution for the colonial relations, marked by violent expropriation, displacement, and forced assimilation, that have undermined the cultural, governance, and economic foundations of the Indigenous peoples of this land. The Green Party of Canada recognizes the ongoing leadership, resistance, and resilience of Indigenous peoples in the face of systemic oppression and intergenerational trauma. A Green government will support all Indigenous peoples' efforts to emerge from the position of disadvantage in which Canada has placed them, including support for cultural revitalization and healing. 
We believe that Canada cannot reach its full potential as a nation until the socio-economic gap between Indigenous peoples and the rest of Canada is closed. The Green Party wholeheartedly repudiates the doctrine of terra nullius, the doctrine of discovery and other doctrines of superiority, and recognizes the inherent sovereignty and title of Indigenous peoples. The Green Party fully embraces all 46 articles of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, also known as UNDRIP. A Green government will remove all obstacles within the judicial, legislative, and executive branches to wholly implement UNDRIP. The Green Party recognizes the call by the Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples for Indigenous self-determination. The Green Party acknowledges that Indigenous peoples have stewarded lands and waters in their traditional territories for centuries. A Green government will respect Indigenous sovereignty over self-defined and self-governed lands, whether First Nations, Métis, or Inuit, and respect all rights that their title to land entails, including the right to stewardship. We respect Inuit sovereignty over Inuit Nunagat, we support the full implementation of treaties and other self-government agreements between Canada and Indigenous governments. A Green government will uphold and fulfill Canada's responsibilities in all agreements with Indigenous people. A Green government will reintroduce legislation to enshrine UNDRIP in Canadian law and implement the calls to action from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. The Green Party rejects the Indian Act as racist and oppressive legislation and is committed to dismantling the Act in full partnership and with First Nations taking the lead role in the process. The Indian Act uses race-based criteria to define who is and who is not an Indian and infringes on the right of First Nations people to define themselves. Greens will support Indigenous people's work and efforts towards self-determination to ensure no one is left behind or excluded from their rightful heritage. While dismantling the Indian Act will be a complex exercise in which Indigenous peoples have the deciding role, we will establish processes for self-governing Indigenous peoples and nations who choose to opt out of the Indian Act. A Green government will welcome a genuine nation-to-nation -nation relationship with Indigenous peoples in Canada that is truly grounded in the UN DRIP doctrine of free prior and informed consent. As described in the democracy section, a Green government will create an inclusive policy and governance body, the Council of Canadian Governments. This will include Indigenous nations and peoples as equal partners with other levels of government in the development of shared national goals, and will be the vehicle for the revamped First Minister's meeting. Greens endorse the comprehensive agenda prepared by the Assembly of First Nations for the 2019 election, covering a range of policy areas that address the inequities and mistreatment experienced by First Nations across Canada. These include measures relating to reconciliation, health, education, housing, climate change, environmental protection, justice, rights, economic development, infrastructure, and skills training. A Green government will pledge to work in good faith as partners with the AFN to achieve their agenda, only negotiating the priority allocation of funds in line with the Green Party's commitment to fiscal responsibility. We will work with the Métis National Council and Congress of Aboriginal Peoples to meet the Supreme Court decision in Daniels with meaningful funding and action. We will respect and work with the Inuit throughout the Inuit Tapirat Kanatami and respect their territory, covering one-third of the landmass of Canada. Treaties and Land Claims Uphold Canada's fiduciary responsibility, fulfill Canada's responsibilities in agreement, honour treaties, and respect all rights of Indigenous peoples, including their inherent rights of self-government. In partnership with Indigenous peoples, work towards the creation of an Indigenous Lands and Treaties Tribunal Act to establish an independent body that will decide on specific claims, ensuring that treaty negotiations are conducted and financed fairly, and that treaty negotiations and claims resolutions do not result in the extinguishment of Aboriginal 
and treaty rights. Immediately implement the land claims agreements already negotiated and languishing for lack of funding, particularly for First Nations in the territories. Ensure that negotiations of treaties and self-government are not based on the extinguishment of Indigenous title and rights and on assimilation, but on reconciliation of rights and title, and that negotiations recognize the diversity of traditional self-governance. Negotiate with Indigenous peoples over primary hunting, fishing, trapping, and logging rights on traditional lands, especially lands under federal jurisdiction, subject to standards of sustainable harvesting and traditional ecological knowledge. Respecting Indigenous sovereignty and self-determination. Formally repudiate the doctrine of terra nullius, the doctrine of discovery, and other doctrines of superiority. With Indigenous leaders at the helm, establish processes for self-governing Indigenous peoples and nations to transition out from under the Indian Act, grounding this in the doctrine of free, prior, and informed consent. Implement the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and reform all judicial, legislative, and executive branches of the federal government so they are consistent with the Declaration. Implement the recommendations of the 1996 Report of the Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples. Affirm the inherent right of Indigenous communities to determine child and family services. Support kinship ties and ensure sufficient funding and resources so that families are kept together. Include representatives from First Nations, Métis, and Inuit governments on the Council of Canadian Governments to improve policy coherence and optimize public spending with respect to higher order policy priorities. See Good Governance Intergovernmental Collaboration. Cultural Revitalization and Healing Implement the calls to action from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission as well as the recommendations from the inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Work in partnership with the Assembly of First Nations to implement their agenda for the 2019 election. Ensure that every First Nations, Métis, and Inuit child has access to quality educational opportunities based on the expressed cultural, political, and social priorities of the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit governments following meaningful consultation. Support the development of Indigenous education curricula that are language and culture specific. Increase access to post-secondary education for Indigenous youth by removing the 2% funding cap, as well as fully funding the program backlog. Support and sustain the transmission, proliferation, and regeneration of Indigenous cultural works and languages. Educate non-Indigenous Canadians on the histories, customs, traditions, and cultures of the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples of Turtle Island. Health and Wellness this references three sustainable development goals, no poverty, zero hunger, reduced inequalities. End drinking water and boil water advisories by investing in upgrading critical infrastructure to ensure safe water access in every community. Prioritize high quality, safe and affordable housing, particularly in the North, and ensure an equitable distribution of resources for energy efficiency retrofits. Improve food security in northern communities by consulting with residents on Arctic farming, working with nonprofit groups to build greenhouses or hydroponic towers, and funding education programs in nutrition and horticulture. Support healthcare services that incorporate traditional practices and recognize the role of extended families and elders. Together with First Ministers and Indigenous leaders, revisit the Blueprint on Aboriginal Health a 10-year transformative plan, abandoned in 2006. Devote sufficient resources for maternal and infant care, mental health services, and treatment for diabetes and tuberculosis. Sustain the Aboriginal Health Human Resources Initiative to continue capacity building in the healthcare profession for Indigenous communities. And that's it for this episode. We went over the UN Sustainable Development Goals and Reconciliation with Indigenous People. 
Now, to get the platform yourself, go to greenparty.ca slash platform. And to look up who your Green Party candidate is, go to greenparty.ca slash candidates. All you have to do is put in your postal code and it'll look up who your Green Party candidate is. Thank you so much for your time. We'd love to hear from you. Please email us at platformpodcast2019 at gmail.com. If you have any platform questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. We'll read everything that you send us and we'll do our best to reply as well. We're hoping to be able to share some of the questions and feedback as well. So if you'd prefer we don't share your comments, please mention that in your message. Coming up next is episode three, where we'll cover the next section of the Green Party platform addressing the climate emergency. I'm Sean Yo, and thanks so much for joining us. See you next episode.